Back to that Kevin show with Kevin McCullough. All right, uh, Kevin McCullough, very glad to have you with us. Uh, and I want to each week say a big thank you to those of you that have been helping us with our effort to end human trafficking in our time. Uh, it is a really big deal to me that last week uh, about 10 of you uh, went to the phones and said, I want to liberate a human life uh, because we are making tremendous progress towards our goal. Our goal for the end of the year is to have liberated 192 human slaves from North Sudan so that they can go back home to South Sudan. These are people that were taken as spoils of war in the Sudanese civil war. And many of them, when they were just very small girls, uh, were, were taken. But last week, uh, 10 of you said, uh, I, I want to I want to liberate one. And so we are now at 56 of 192 uh, liberated for the year. And that means that there are 136 left uh, of names that we have on a list of, of slaves that we know about that we can go and actually do something about. And that means the world to me. Um, when when we started doing this a few years ago, uh, it was very clear to me that this is a very unheralded thing. Uh, the, the governments of the world came together to solve this, the Sudan civil war. They divided the countries. They created South Sudan as the kind of world's youngest country. Uh, that's a safe haven for Christians that are in that area. But they did not do one thing about the more than 185,000 slaves that had been taken during the course of the, of the war most of them women that were very small children at the time. So it's been about 15 years. A lot of these women have spent um, all that time in captivity. Uh, they have had their identity taken away from them. They've had their name replaced, a Christian name uh, replaced with a Muslim name. Uh, they've had um, their genitals circumcised because the slave master says, you're not a good Arab wife if you don't do that and you can't be a good Arab woman. If you don't do that, uh, sometimes they are forced to do that on their own. They don't have sanitary spaces to do anything like that. So there's infection and there's other things. They've really, really suffered in that regard. But that's just one type of suffering. They've been repeatedly raped. They've been starved. They've had other things happen to them uh, that are on the human level just unthinkable. There, there's a word that in um, Sudanese is, is so profane it's it's the equivalent of if a human copulated with a with a canine and whatever the would that union would produce is what they call these people, um, but the opposite when they are liberated is also true. As painful as the pain is that they go through, the joy that they feel when they've been liberated, and then they've been given what's called their bag of hope, which is everything they need to start their life over again. Not only is it uh, shelter from the weather, it is also uh, food for a year. It's seed for food for a following year. Uh, they get all kinds of utensils to garden and cook and do things with. Uh, they have fishing supplies. They have other things that are all included. Uh, and then best thing of all, each of them receives a kid she-goat that will grow and be able to produce milk and cheese and other things for the, the slave, the former slave, but it will also give her a way to have a micro enterprise to support herself with as that goat then bears other goats uh, in the days and weeks to come. So each week here on that Kevin show, we've been, we've been relaying for you a story of one of the slaves that has been freed. You helped free this slave just a year ago. And I want, I wanted you to hear uh, another one tonight because it is really in kind of the telling of their story that you grasp the magnitude of what we've done. These stories have been translated from the Sudanese tongue into English. And so the kind of choppy delivery of the grammar and so forth is just how uh, that is portrayed. We're trying to be as accurate as possible, but would you take a listen to this and then I'll be back to tell you how you can help liberate a human being right now. My name is Nanya Newt. I was about 15 years old when I was captured. My mom had spent the last few days teaching me all about what it meant to be a good wife and a mom, showing me how to cook and sew. She had hoped I would get married in the future. One day I was out collecting firewood, and that was when the Arabs found me and captured me and took me to Sudan without the chance to tell my family goodbye. It took me many days to walk the complete journey 
They gave us spoiled sorghum as we went, and the men that had been captured with us faced grave dangers. They were considered to be spies, and most of them were killed right in front of us. Upon arrival in the north, I was sold to a master in Miriam village, and then I was sold almost as quickly to another Arab in Magalagate. He made me work for his family, sweeping the compound and washing the dishes. They worked me long and terrible hours, pounding sorghum, fetching water. And then they said in order to be a good Muslim woman, I would need to be circumcised. I was held down as it happened, and then I was forced to marry. Against my will, they forced me to work even when I was sick. And if I did anything that made them angry, they would beat me. My master never bought me any clothes, never paid me for any of my work, and barely ever fed me. Then one day, I heard about a CSI retriever, and I ran to find them in the town. As it turned out, they were freeing slaves in my region, and they had not known about me. But I think God allowed me to find them, because they brought me home. We walked that same journey back to South Sudan. And today I thank God because I am free. I thank the Arab Retriever because he helped. I thank CSI and for those who gave. I cannot thank those of you who gave money to help us become free ever enough in all of my life. But I do hope that my prayer is answered, that we will not stop until they are all free. That's what so many of the slaves tell the CSI staff when they get to the recovery camp. Uh, please don't stop until all of them have been freed. Friends, it's our effort to try to end human trafficking in our time. 888-342-1010 uh, is the phone number. 888-342-1010. $250 not only liberates the slave, but gives them everything they need to start their life over again. Please call 888-342-1010 or go online to bringherhome.org. That's bringherhome.org. Ready or not, you'll be right back. That Kevin 